Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 32 of Daryl20's Let's Play of Project Architect 2. Uh, where today I'm uh, cruising through Mechanism. Wanted to get like the whole basic kit and caboodle up and running. And I think we're pretty much at that point. Uh, I've, got, I've got an Osmium compressor now ready to roll. Uh, and I can use that to make a few things probably. Osmium compressor... You make, well, I might as well teach both of them. So all I need really is that and that. And that'll be enough to get the Osmium Compressor cooking. Sweet. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I've got all the basic um, mechanism machines that I would need going. Um, and as a matter of fact, I also... Put a whole bunch of speed and energy upgrades and all the other standard stuff in there, right? So like bing, bang, boom, right? That's all good. Everybody's upgraded. Everybody's ready to roll. Uh, so, um, you know, let's see. What do I want to do? I think my plan was basically this. Um, I was going to do, and I, and I know I said I like kind of had a plan for how this is going to work out, but here's my thoughts. You ready? If I got gold ore, okay, um, and not just gold ore, but raw gold, okay, and that's 2048 EMC. If I process that, the best processing is usually mechanism. I assume that's still going to be the case. I can turn three gold into 2,000 gold slurry, okay, and then I can clean that one-to-one -one with water. And then I can take 200 and turn it into a gold crystal. So that means one, three raw gold turns into 10 gold crystals. So that's basically tripling and then some, like 3.33 repeating-ish percent, right? Three times multiplier, yeah. So 333%, so a little bit more than tripling, right? Tripling and a third. Um, and then that one-to-ones to a gold shard, to a gold clump, to dirty gold dust, to gold dust, and blah, 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 which I can eventually smelt into gold ingots. But then I can turn those gold ingots into diamonds using Project E. So um, I'm thinking what we do is we set up a EMC loop where we get a diamond, we convert it to raw gold, the raw gold then gets tripled, loops back, and now we have basically three diamonds, right? Um, you know, and repeat uh, over and over. And that'll, if we, it, now keep in mind also that that's going to be with like 7x speed machines. So I should be able to get a lot of EMC out of that, I think. I think. So that's basically the plan that I'm working towards. So, with all that said, let's get ready to do the thing, right? So we're going to take raw gold, and we're going to process it using sulfuric acid in a chemical dissolution chamber, and that's going to make dirty gold slurry. And then we're going to put it in a chemical washer with water, and that's going to make clean gold slurry. And then we're going to put it in a chemical crystallizer to get gold crystals, which will then go into a chemical injection chamber with ooh, salt. That's not terrible. Hydrogen chloride. How do we normally get hydrogen chloride? Hydrogen chloride is usually like a complex chlorine process. That, and the chlorine comes from brine, right? But if I can get that with a small amount of EMC, like salt, that's kind of cool, right? And that'll get me gold shards which need oxygen, which I can get from flint, which is also a very small amount of EMC, and that's in a purification chamber. That could be cool. So, like, I want to see how much salt it takes to do one process, but, like, at the values we're talking about, like 2048 and 8192, a little extra EMC going towards flint and, and salt may not be terrible. Um, and then we need a crusher to make dirty gold dust, 
and then we need a enrichment chamber to make gold dust. And then we need, you know, some kind of furnace of some kind. I could probably just do another right furnace to make old ingots. And then that's your production line. So that seems very doable to me, right? I think so. Now, um, do I want to put all this over in my, whatchamacallit area over here? I'm thinking yes, because like that's my EMC production area. And I don't think, unless I'm missing it, I don't think we have either uh, Hyperbox or compact machines in this pack. So there's no compact machines, there's no hyperbox. So whatever we build is gonna be, you know, here in the overworld. Um, cool. So this could be a basement dwelling thing though, because like, it's gonna be, well, it's not gonna be huge, but maybe it won't be a basement dwelling thing. I can put it in here and then like, we could expand into a basement thing if we need. All right, that works. So let's get started with it. Um, so chemical dissolution chamber is kind of be my first doohickey. Uh, now I'm going to need a couple basic chemical tanks to go along with that. And I assume we still have some stuff crafting. Cool. Now we did need sulfuric acid, which is going to be basically water vapor plus sulfur trioxide. Uh, now is there like an item to gas? There is. It's sulfur dust. Does sulfur have EMC? It does. It's a chunk though, it's a chunk of EMC. So like, should we try it with EMC? Cause like option one, so what are my other options, right? So if I did sulfur trioxide, sulfur dioxide, that also basically just needs sulfur dust. Uh, so sulfuric acid we can get from, that'll make two millibuckets though at a time. That's really not going to be enough, is it? That's going to be, that's going to be a huge amount of EMC that's going to be used. Because we're going to need, how much for this? If I want to do that, we need 100 millibuckets. So we're going to need 50 times 256. No, that's too expensive. We have to do the sulfur production line. That's going to be way too expensive. Okay. So we're going to need sulfuric acid. So we're going to need a chemical infuser with sulfur trioxide and water vapor, um, which, you know, as we know, is a rotary condensate and then sulfur dioxide is going to be oxygen um, and sulfur dioxide, which we get 100 millibuckets from sulfur. So, yeah, that's that's the way we're going to play that. OK, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So you're going to be a chemical oxidizer. I have a lot of machines to make, so why don't you give me a minute? to uh, get making, as it were, and uh, I'll be right back. Cool? Cool. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. What we could do is maybe use an EMC link for this purpose, right? Because um, we don't need to, con the EMC link will produce the resources automatically. Now we may need to upgrade this guy beyond a tier three. And if that's the case, cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? Because uh, we're doing pretty good. Look how much EMC I have right now. Like, it's, good. it's going pretty good. So what I'm thinking is in my basement is where I'll have um, my um, liquid and gas processing stuff. Is that cool? Um, so down here uh, will be my, um, let's see, what else did I need? What actually makes, is it the chemical infuser? Because I'm looking to make sulfuric acid, so I need chemical infuser. I think I need two of them, to be honest with you. Luckily, I have everything on autocraft. For the most part. Cool. Awesome. All right, so let's start with the chemical infuser. We'll stick it like here-ish. Okay, is that cool? Um, and you're ultimately gonna be responsible for making sulfuric acid. So first you need water vapor um, coming in one side. Um, debating how I wanna play this out, maybe behind it. So maybe what I'll do is, I'll pull that one. All right, so you're gonna go here you're gonna have a rotary condensator here, and you're gonna get water somehow, probably with a sink, maybe? 
You guys don't have this set up yet? Terracotta has an EMC value. And water. How about get me a bucket real quick? Haha. <laughs> Because we know we're going to need water for, like, a lot of what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay. That should be cool. Uh, and water can kind of sit wherever for now. I'll figure out where this is going to live in a minute. Because I'm probably going to wind up doing laser I.O. for this. Probably. Okay. So you're going to get water. And you're going to rotary concentrate. Should I do power under the ground? That seems like a good plan. I'll run it back this way. That should work. Cool. Now you're getting juice. And that looks good to me. Cool. Now as for water, that can probably go above it. Okay. So that's cool. All right. So then we're going to want some more laser stuff. As you know, we're going to need some of that. Now your sidedness will be for gases. I want you to input two on the back, right? Because the water vapor goes in that slot. Um, and we'll probably have input one on the right is what I'm thinking. So you side config your gases will be an output to the front, and your fluids can be an input on the top. Is that cool? And your sidedness will be... We don't need any items going in there. Gases. Um, input one can be on the right. I like that plan. Cool. Okay. Um, so if I just get you some water, is that like a thing that I could do, by the way? Could I just do this? Oh, you know what? That's right. The Everdyte Amulet is not acting like a bucket, and I don't know why. Acts as an infinite water bucket. Right click to fill tanks and cauldrons. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't act like a water bucket. I'm not able to get you to do thing. Like, I couldn't put this in tanks either. Lava Amulet, I can put in tanks, and it produces infinite lava. Water Amulet is not doing that, and I don't quite know, know why. Um, but that's okay. What we'll do is I'll just move you down one. And then we don't need multiple nodes, right? So on up, extract, down, insert, bing, bang, boom. Cool. And look who came for a visit. Huh? Yep. This guy. <laughs> okay. So that's making warp vapor for me. It's going in here. That's cool. Um, now I saw you, are you okay on power or was something wrong with power? Guess we'll find out. So on this side, um, you're going to do sulfur trioxide, which will be oxygen and sulfur dioxide. And that's gonna be another chemical infuser. Okay. Now I might need better cables. There's no doubt that that's a possibility. And if I do, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, especially with how fast we're producing this stuff. Um, and then for that, we're going to need oxygen, which is my electrolytic separator. And you are going to um, probably, let's see, clear gases. You're going to output oxygen from the electrolytic separator, right? Number two is oxygen, it's hydrogen, then oxygen, right? Um, and then for fluids, you're just going to input, right? So then you, on the down, insert, connect, cool. 
And I always hate that noise. Awesome. And you can dump excess hydrogen. Oh, and you need power too. All right. And then you can also do thing. Yeah, we may not be, because you're, it doesn't say right now how much I need, but we need. Uh, and then your side config for gases. Does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter, right? Actually, no, that's the side we want it on anyway. Okay, cool. And then sulfur trioxide can come in on the right. Input two. Cool. And then sulfur, uh, sulfur dioxide, right? That's that. And then you're going to eject to the right. Gases output, or to the left, I mean. Cool. And then finally, we want sulfur dioxide, which is our chemical oxidizer, sitting there. And you're the one who's going to get EMC linked um, with sulfur. But I think we actually have to process the sulfur first now that I'm thinking about it, right? Because to make sulfur dioxide, we need sulfur dust, which we can get with the crusher from mechanism. Let's do that one since this is our mechanism build, right? And then a couple buckets. And you guys can get sped up as well. And while we're at it, we will get more mechanism upgrades because you know we're going to need a lot of these. You, you, and I know we're going to need a couple. So let's go with 24. That'll be a set of eight, and that should be sufficient, at least to get started. Sweet. Okay. Uh, now you will item wise accept from the back gas wise you're going to output to the left you are going to items input on the top output to the front auto eject and then we can have our emc link here which may or may not need to be sped up we will find out um set to sulfur Okay, so that's a little expensive, but it's it's necessary if we really want to go, you know, crazy on this. So you're going to extract, and on the down you can be insert, right? And now you're processing, and you're cooking. And you're cooking, and you're cooking, and we've got sulfuric acid. How cool is that? Nice. Uh, now, I don't think any of these take gas upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, no gas upgrades along that set. But that's a nice little compact um, sulfuric acid, right? Uh, and then in terms of gases, how about you output to the top? You can, you can do that, and then we will just route up there where we're going to have our first in the production line is going to be the chemical dissolution chamber. That's going to be the first thing that we do. Um, now you're going to need power in the back probably would be my thought. And we'll, we'll confirm this. But yeah, let's put you... If I put you there, would that be cool? Yeah, that has you right above the sink. That works.
Is that cool? Alright, so getting power. And then we're going to need um, some tubes. Basic pressurized tubes, I think. I think we can go with the basics. I don't think we need too crazy. We'll upgrade if we need. I don't know if we'll need. We'll find out, right? Alright, so now you've got sulfuric acid. Sweet. Um, I will probably want you to go there instead so that I can keep this nice looking up here. Alright, so then we say we've got raw gold times three. Okay, and that's going to make, and that one does use the gas upgrade, by the way, which reduces the amount of gas being used, which will just make our EMC more efficient, right? And that's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's come back in a sec. So the next machine we'll need is a chemical washer. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we needed a lot of these, don't I? Because these are kind of slower than, well, we'll find out. We will, we will find out um, exactly which, which we need to do. Because I remember one of them being slow. Um, so like, part of me wants to set, wow. We'll start with it just in a line and then we'll move as needed. How's that for a deal? I think that that's cool, okay. Um, so then you're going to go here, and chemical washer will go here. And then underneath the chemical washer, we can have a node on the up that inserts water. Cool. And then he's producing slurry. Okay. Now, power is probably going to be a problem here. And I don't know if it's because this guy can't output fast enough, or if the cables can, or what. But we'll we'll deal with power in a minute, okay? Let me focus on this. All right. The other thing I want to do is make this blue, because this is my water node. Yeah, buddy. That's cool. All right. So are you keeping up with pressure? You do seem, actually, to be keeping up with pressure. So that may not need to be any higher. Tier 3 might suffice. All right. That's cool, man. You might need a tier installer. And if I do this, he may actually, you know, be a problem. So we'll see. We'll see if four can keep up. I, I, I feel like it, it, we're close, right? So maybe if that doesn't work, we'll do, we'll do more. But it's all good. Right? Now we're getting more sulfuric, and that's pretty cool. All right. So up here, you've been getting your gold slurry. Okay. Next up, um, we got clean gold slurry. So now we want to take that clean gold slurry and chemical crystallizer it. Okay. Now this one might be the one that's slow, right? That might be. Now that needs fluorite, but luckily fluorite is cool. Now I feel like that's going to be slow. All right, so chemical crystallizer, done. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need multiples of these, but we'll figure it out. Um, so now uh, the next one, so we've got gold shards, so that's gonna be chemical injection chamber with salt. Uh, chemical injection chamber with salt. Um, so again, your side config can items auto output, and that should be cool, beautiful. Uh, and your side config will also be items auto output, now we have to figure out salt. How do we want to handle that? So we, we I was going to do the EMC approach, right? But I want to see how much salt is needed per. Um, so if it's like one salt per, I'm totally cool just using this. If it's like a stack of salt per, eh, maybe a different story. That was not a lot of progress, was it? It really wasn't. It really wasn't a lot of progress, was it? All right, so let's get a stack of salt and see what happens. It's somehow worse than a stack of salt. It needs a lot. It needs a real lot. Okay, that's probably not where we're gonna go. Okay, okay, never mind. Not gonna be salt. Salt is not the way. Uh, so we need hydrogen chloride, uh, which is gonna be hydrogen, which no problem, and chlorine. Um, or we can deconcentrate it, which doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of sense to do. Salt can get me two millibuckets of hydrogen. Yeah, so it's a super tiny amount, right? So we need a hundred salt 
aka 800 EMC, that feels like a big waste of EMC per gold shard. So we would need like 8,000 EMC for 10 gold shards. Yeah. Nope. Ain't happening. Definitely not. Definitely not salt. Uh, because I'm pretty sure we can get this from just water. Because chlorine uh, comes from decondensating or electrolytic separating brine, right? Um, and that brine is really simple. It's just the thermal evaporation tower, dude, right? Um, which we get from water, right? Brine is the first step, and then we can further it into lithium, which we will probably need at some point anyway. Um, so let's set up a thermal evaporation tower so that we have access to brine and whatnot. Um, does that sound cool? So thermal evaporation tower, it is. Uh, so we're going to want you. And we're going to want you. And we're going to want you. Easy and peasy. Okay, so we're going to want... Should we just set up the two? I feel like we should just set up the two, right? And we could uh, ender tank it. Cool with that. Um, and then for uh, powering it, we should do the heat exchanger thing. Heat from mechanism. Yeah, the resistive heater. I'm not going to do the solar thing. I'm going to do the resistive heater thing. That seems cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, two uh, of these. Six of those. And like a hundred of those and we might need more. Is that cool? Works for me. I'll come back when crafting completes. Because that's going to be just a minute or three. Alright, so what I've done... It's created another basement because you know when in doubt make another basement it just it's just it's just the way to go um so remind me how this thing works is it four internal one two three four i think so why does that feel wrong to me i don't know i guess we'll find out uh no it's, it's four external to internal right yeah, I think that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That feels better. That feels more correct. Okay, cool. Um, so then we'll do you, and we'll do you, and then we'll do hooray! Thermal evaporation. Nice. Uh, and then I should be able to surface it up. That should be cool. Close enough. We'll get a few at least. I'll speed up that. Uh, so how about another sink? Is that doable? Yes, if I got another bucket of water, which I should really automate um, at some point. You know, just either having water in the AE system or whatever, but we'll get there. Cool. So you're going to do that, and then you will do... Um, yeah, we could do laser I.O. for that. That shouldn't be a problem. Down. Extract. I should probably overclocker you. There we go. And we're cool. So you're getting water now, and then you just need heat. Um, so what I'm going to have here is probably you two need to be these dudes and then you can be a thermal resistive doohickey there you go and then you can ender cell extract and then you can be 200 fe per tick is that cool so you should be heating up and making the brine that i need okay and then we're going to want ender tanks uh, we're probably going to want two of them, right? I 
And here's what I'm thinking. We'll have one here. Okay. And then that'll be... Let's do yellow. Do we have dandelions? Not here, but we should have dandelions here. How about yellow, yellow, white? That sound reasonable-ish? Okay. And then... I might need a few more of these, but we'll see. Yep, and then you, and then you. That like that. Controller can be here. Good to me. And then we just need some pipes. Um, I'm thinking like the tier two-ish pipes. I should add all the pipes and mechanism-y things to the auto craft, but we'll get there when we get there. I could probably just do, well, at this point I feel like might as well do this and that. Okay. And I do this. Do I need the mechanism wrenchy dude? I think I do. Cool. So now you'll fill up your brine and then fill up this dude, which will start making liquid lithium, which we can then use um, for whatever purposes we may need in the future, such as producing lithium, right? So like at this point, I should probably just take that liquid lithium, um, deconcentrate it down to lithium, and start um, uh, lithium dusting it in a chemical crystallizer, right? So we'll want a decondensate, a rotary condensator. And we'll want a chemical crystallizer, okay? So you'll eventually, you'll be here, and then chemical crystallizer here. Cool. And then you're going to be this, and you're going to be that, and you're going to be this. And you're making lithium, so that's cool. Oh good, I did have more upgrades ready. Okay. And then your side config for gases can be outputting to the right, and you're making lithium for me. Nice. Uh, and then functional storage, let's get just a regular old oak drawer that you can output to. And then eventually he'll back stuff. Deal? Right? Because I will be good on that. Right, that would be cool. I'm assuming this doesn't have an EMC value right now. I would be surprised if it did, to be honest with you. But yeah, so now we'll be making brine. We may or may not need lithium at some point. I'll throw, um, what I'll do is I'll make an orange dye. So if I got poppies. And then we got orange dye. It would be orange orange for the lithium, liquid lithium. Is that cool? That works for me. Yeah, buddy. And I don't know that we need any more than that. Like, that should be sufficient. Um, now, I may want to change this to be, now that I'm thinking about it, I might want to prioritize the ender tank over that. Um, so you're making 16 millibuckets per tick, which isn't particularly fast. So maybe I want to... 
on the down will be an insert with a high priority. And then on the this side can be an extract. And I should probably, and then on this side can be an insert with a low priority. Cool. So you're keeping up. And if I need this to be faster, I can crank up the temperature. Cool. So let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time uh, and we'll continue our plan to hopefully make a very large amount of EMC out of mechanism or processing. Cool. Again, it's tripling gold into diamonds and then repeating. Uh, so for now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. More automation processing next to one. For now, take it easy.